<laughs> We're not doing that. Okay, ready, Granny? Yeah, ready. And reset. Team Australia has dominated the opening leg of the Sail GP series on Sydney Harbour, led by Olympic champion Tom Slingsby. Has this revolutionised your sport in the world? It really has. I mean, sailing, it sort of gains a lot of media attention every four years, whether it's the Olympics, whether it's uh, the America's Cup, they happen every four years and then it sort of disappears. Take a bow, you've won in San Francisco. Oh I, I got a lot of confidence in our team and uh, I, I believe we got the best team on the water. When we put things together and we just do what we know we can do, we sail exceptionally. Just... This is an annual circuit, it's racing consistently around the world, um, events every month or two and yeah, nation versus nation competition in the fastest sailing boats in the world. Tom Slingsby has guided Australia to another masterclass in the European debut of the Sail GP. In some pretty wild oh. weather, many teams struggled, but not wow. the Australians who dominated the field while also becoming the first crew ever to break the 50 knot speed barrier. For sure, competing for your country and as you see with the boat, it's um, a big green and gold boat with the kangaroo on it and all Australian team. It for sure is um, very emotional when you get on the boat and you do well. Tom Slingsby has led Australia to a history-making Sail GP Championship in France. As well as the trophy and all those celebrations, Australia picked up $1 million US, the largest monetary prize in sailing. No wonder they're celebrating. How dramatic is it when you're out there and you are behind and you know there's a million dollars on the line here? <laughs> you just really try to focus on your processes. Um, it's just another day in the office a bit for us and you know you're... I love the office, mate. Yeah, we, we knew we were behind um, from the start and we just try to stay really focused and just do our jobs as best as possible. And it wasn't until we crossed the line and we checked the display to say Australia finished that we just let loose and really enjoyed the moment. Recording in three, two. Okay, action. Uh, testing, one, two, three, four, five. Unique New York. Silver Fox. What's Silver Fox? Smart ass. <laughs> How now, brown cow? Hello, it's me. I can see it in your eyes. Uh, am I getting some silvers? And on a scale of one to ten, how much do you love interviews? I hate interviews. Ten. Glad to have you here. What kind of pressure do you put on yourself when you go into an event like this? And is it amplified by being at home in a place like Sydney Harbour in front of your friends and family? Uh, for sure, there's a lot of pressure on us to perform, um, defending champions, uh, but uh, for me, this is a chance for my legacy in, in sailing. I've, I've won the uh, Olympics, I've won the America's Cup, I've won Sail GP before, but now we've got a higher level of competition. We've got the greatest Olympic sailor of all time, Ben Ainsley here, and there's nothing better for my personal legacy and the legacy of all our team to go out there and beat one of the greatest has ever been in boxing, they always say to, uh, to be the best, you've got to beat the best. If we go and beat those guys in exactly the identical boats on the same racetrack, uh, it sort of cements our legacy as, as one of the best teams ever. Um, it's a bit far-fetched saying best teams ever, but cut that out. Yeah, no worries. Really, old Ted. He's changing over the years. These guys were saying, unflappable. Um, these guys were saying last night he was up lower. He's not saying because they left at 10:30. After he didn't stay longer. I'm just excited about Kenley. You know, to be lucky enough to work alongside such a well-known hero in our sport. It's quite an honour. Sorry, guys, just at work here. What was that, Tom? Yeah, the first thing we did on the first day when we got here was uh, we sat down with our coach Philippe and um, you know with the benefit of hindsight looking at last season we, we thought of all the things that we could have done better and we redesigned a couple of things in our playbook. Uh, what, what do we, um, what's your plan? Obviously today's our first day back in six months. We get out there and just do a couple of laps by ourselves, just get the feel and the muscle memory back and then uh, after a few laps by ourselves, then we look at making it a bit tougher. 
we've got a got a few different people doing different things at different times, but um, yeah, when you watch the racing, you might find out what it is. Now I've got I've got the leeward side. You've yep. got the windward side yep. as the sheet's unloaded. Mm -hmm. yep. But as we jive back, you've got the sheet, and uh, I'll fire the board. Yeah. yeah. Cool. Yeah. You happy for me to twist around the muff too? Mate, as you wish. You know, why am I even asking you? I'm just gonna do it. <laughs> yeah. No, no, Jason, no, I'm not happy with that. <laughs> but you'll do camber, right? Because that's the bigger one. Yeah, yeah, it's coming in. practice we've ever had I mean like we everything was working well um, the maneuvers were good straight away and uh, I mean it was just way better than what we've done before so Kyle was a bit scared at times but it's okay he's all right now have you settled down I was a little scared at times. you were a little scared and that's okay I'm not giving you anything about that it's yeah it's been a while so I'm asking you how much cooler this is like Last season we were just trying to learn how to do the manoeuvres we did in Bermuda yeah. and now we're doing stuff we've never done before. Yeah, that's yeah. cool. That's it. So much fun. Yeah. I remember when we just learned to foil and um, we are doing 30 knots downwind, it's like 18 knots of breeze and uh, JK goes standby jibe and I go, I'm not crossing the boat while it's foiling. <laughs> and he's like, okay let's sit her down and jibe. I was too scared to cross. <laughs> But it was on day one. Yeah. Well, it's my first day on the boat. No, your first day on the boat, you keep saying the boat. Yeah. <laughs> my first day uh, on the boat was the capsize. Oh I was a guest one day. My first day, Sam's first yeah. day. Really? Yeah. Everyone's going to say that. Wait, wait. Hey, Mom, we're going for my first sail on the boat. Because, like, what happened? How's your day, boy? <laughs> Oh, it's good. Yeah, it's good. The boat's still out of sea. <laughs> the boat's on its way to Hawaii. It was not just a good side, it was just a food, food destroyer. It looks good. Huh? It's just, it's a